Question 23. Yvonne has 10 tulips, uh, tulip bulbs in a bag. Seven of the tulip bulbs will grow into red tulips. Three will grow into yellow tulips. Yvonne will take at random two tulips from the bag and she's going to plant them. We're asked to complete the probability tree diagram. Okie doke, fair enough. They've done a bit of the work here for us by giving us the diagram, but let's have a look. So if uh, seven of the tulips are red and three are yellow, well, the probability that the first tulip is yellow surely must be three out of 10. Remembering that all uh, the, the, the sum total of the branches here must add to one. Now, if we remove a red tulip, well, we only have six red tulips left, and there's only nine tulips left in the bag because one has been taken. Now, if I take a red one and then I get yellow, well, then that means that there must be, there's still three yellows because I chose red in the first instance and nine tulips altogether in the bag. I'm just checking again that these branches add up to one, which they do. Over this side now, if I take yellow first, that means we still have seven red in this out in um in this version of events. So yellow first, followed by red. Well, there's seven left, and there's nine in total. And if I choose yellow the first time, that means there's only two yellows left, but still nine in the bag. So that's the diagram completed. Now, the second part of the question is to work out the probability that at least one of the bulbs will grow into a yellow tulip. Word of advice, let's work out all the outcomes straight away. So we generally tend to multiply across the branches. We're gonna do seven out of 10 times six out of nine. We'll do seven out of 10 times three out of nine. We're gonna do three out of 10 times seven out of nine. And 3 out of 10 times 2 out of 9. Now, one of the reasons for doing all of them is because it enables me to check that I've done uh, the diagram correctly. Uh, 7 times 6 is 42. So we get 42 over 90. We get 21 out of 90. We get 21 out of 90. And then finally here, we get 6 out of 90. Now, if we've done it correctly, 42 plus 21 plus 21 plus 6 should add up to 90. Let me see. 21 and 21 is 42. Plus another 42 is 84. 84 and 6 is 90. So I'm fairly confident that we've done this correctly. Now, let's answer the question that they asked us. The probability that at least one of the bulbs will be yellow. Okay, at least one. So let's have a look. Red and red, is at least one yellow? No. How about red and yellow? That works. So that's a possible outcome. What about yellow and red? That's a possible outcome. And most students have no problem getting these, but a lot of the time people forget the last one. Yellow and yellow is also a valid solution because at least one is yellow. So that means we can have two yellows. So what am I going to do with all those probabilities? We're going to add them up. 21 plus 21 plus 6 is going to give me 48. So the probability is going to be 48 out of 90.